Here you see a piping model inside PDMS. To open HotClash inside PDMS, use the command line as shown. Type show hotclash. This opens the hotclash module. From here, you can select the appropriate settings for loading the piping model into hotclash. The settings may be piping code, boundary conditions, and a few others. Now we select the current element. Click on add CE or current element and hit the apply button. This opens hotclash which shows you the transferred piping model and its deflected shape in green for a specific condition in the graphic display area. You can choose up to three different conditions, hydro test, shutdown, and operating conditions. Once you select a condition, the appropriate deflected shape is shown. Select the transfer deflected shape for radio button from the module on the right to transfer it to PDMS. This will bring you back to the hot clash dialog inside PDMS once you click cancel, you will see that your piping model in PDMS now shows the deflected shape for the condition you selected. You can see the deflected shape here in gray. Now, if you display all the other surrounding equipment, structures, other piping systems, cable duct trays, etc., in PDMS, around this original piping, you can zoom in and see where the deflected shape clashes with the surrounding elements. Better yet, use the Clash Check feature inside PDMS to generate a list of clashes between the deflected shape and the surrounding elements. Notice the list of clashes generated by PDMS for this operating case deflected shape. The red areas show actual clashes while the pink areas show where the deflected shape gets too close to the nearby design elements. Repeat this process for all the other conditions, hydro test, operating. Once you get the list of hot clashes, you may take remedial measures by rerouting piping or relocating equipment or other elements so that you prevent clashes before they happen, thus avoiding plant or line shutdowns.